Mr. Nader for speaking to Arevind Reseller. Uh, we would like to know a brief about your participation at Jitex this year. What are your key focus areas? Hi Chris, uh, nice to meet you guys. Uh, thank you for being here and uh, talking to us. This is our 12th time participation at Jitex and um, every year gets better in terms of our participation. Uh, the outcome we see every time from our, um, uh, our engagement with the, with the audience, with our partners, with our customers. Uh, this year what we hope to see is again to reconnect with our top clients obviously and the top partners as well. Uh, the, one of the key objectives we have is to expand our reach with our uh, solutions, our offering to the customers that we have as well as the partners. So um, it's, a, it's, it's an interesting and a very strong way for us to be able to reach masses uh, in, uh, during Jitex. So that's what we hope to see. Which products and solutions are you focusing at Jitex this year? See, um, I mean, for Fortinet, every time there's something new that's happening in uh, uh, back doors for us in terms of evolution, in terms of technology and expertise that we provide to, the, to our customers and to the market. Last year, we looked into digital transformation and how Fortinet can help from a security perspective and taking companies and businesses into the security transformation landscape. This year, we're trying to focus into uh, the secure SD1 uh, concept as well as the cloud security and uh, more importantly, a field that we're playing into right now and focusing is the operational technology security. So anything that touches OT and again, the, the SCADA systems is something that we're looking into right now and investing heavily into from a, from a technology and adoption point of view as well with our clients. Can you tell us about the security threat landscape? How has it evolved over the years and how is Fortinet helping companies overcome those security threats? I mean, it's, a, it's an interesting question. So if you, if you take a look at 20, 30 years ago, right? The security, the, the landscape, or oh, sorry, the threat landscape was at a minimum uh, level, right? Because technology and again, applications were also limited too. If you take a look today, right? Every day almost, you know, with the availability of tools and applications and uh, everything being so public and available on cloud, okay? You're opposed to threats, you're opposed to, uh, to different, let's say, um, threat landscape that approaches you. One of the things that we see today is uh, the threat landscape around operational technology, uh, around grid, around uh, uh, major infrastructures that happen at a country level, right? And this is where we are really investing heavily in how we provide that infrastructure. And this, and this calls for the convergence between IT and OT at the same time, and that requires uh, solid expertise and investment as we're doing today from s in terms of your reach in the market, are you looking at new markets to enter into? Are you looking at getting new channel partners on board as well? Uh, the channel partner, again, we are ch channel company uh, driven. So from a, from a technology partnership, we're always keen on expanding our reach with technology partners uh, that we uh, work with uh, on, a on, a, on a global level, a worldwide level. And at the same time, from a local perspective, we also focus on reaching our uh, reach with specific partners who have specific skill sets that can enable our message and enable our solutions with the clients that they have. So it's very important for us and very key to be able to select the right partners who play strong in a certain uh, industry segment or domain as a vertical, yes. And um, uh, to, we are towards the end of the year, what kind of key milestones would you like to achieve by end of this year? Um, we have been, again, we have been, like I said, 12 years for us uh, into Jitex, into this wonderful city of Dubai. Um, our presence has expanded across the Middle East and uh, soon by the end of the Q4 for us this year, we expect to uh, increase our resources, our headcount um, from an expertise perspective, either on channel sales and, and technology and uh, system engineers by the end of the year. And this is gonna go across uh, Middle East countries that we, that we cover. Um, so that's one. The second part is, again, our enablement process for the partners. Uh, we're very strong and keen on getting the right uh, expertise and right certification done in place with our partners. So this is continuing our process for us. We continue doing this every day and of our lives. Thank you for speaking to Arabian Resale. It was oh, no, nice having it. you with Thank us. Thank you. Pleasure.